This video explains how to draw error bars with connected mean lines using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And you can click on this data set to open a new window, which shows the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and four columns. The first column is a group indicator. The second column contains the mean values that correspond to each group. And the third and fourth columns contain the upper and lower limits of the error bus. Now, if we want to draw these data, we can use the ggplot2 package. And for this, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geomerrorbar, to draw our error bars. And within the geom error bar function, we need to specify the lower and the upper limits of our error bars. And within the ggplot function, we need to specify the group indicator and the mean column of our data set. So if you run only these lines of code, a plot with error bars is appearing at the bottom right. However, then if we want to connect our error bars, we can use the geomline function, as you can see in line 12 of the code. And within the geomline function, we can use the nrow function and the mean column of our data set to draw a line between our error bars. So if you run lines 10 to 12 of the code, our plot is updated so that a line is shown between the error bars. And then we can also use the geom point function, as you can see in line 13 of the code, to draw the mean values as points in the middle of our error bars. So if you run lines 10 to 13, you can see that our plot is updated once again. So now our plot contains error bars, lines between the error bars, and the mean values represented by a point. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.